In this video I'm going to take you through how to do very simple time value of money type calculations on a Sharp EL738 financial calculator. The best way to do this as always is with a worked example. So the example we've got here is you put $5,000 in the bank at 5% for 5 years, interest is paid at the end of each month. If you add $50 each month, what will you have at the end of the term? So first step of course is to extract the value and put them in a language that the calculator understands so you can put these into the memories and do the computations. So the present value is your 5000 that's what it's worth now. Um, cash flow convention, this is £5,000 being put in the bank so it's in a sense going away from you so we take that as being negative. Same thing with our payment of 50 each month is a payment of minus 50. Uh, the number of payments, well we're paying in for five years and there's 12 months in a year so that's getting us to 60 payments five times 12 and the interest rate is five percent we can draw this as a cash flow diagram with um, payments going away from us in this sense so they're the negative ones and the future value will be positive so it's up this way okay so let's look at the steps that are required to do this and bring in our calculator so First step, as always, clear the memory. So your second function, CA, clears the memory. Well, it doesn't clear all the memories, but it's sufficient for our purposes. You can use the mclear for um, other calculations. So first thing we need to do to actually do the calculation is set the number of payments per year. So second function, uh, then you've got P slash Y above the i slash y button so press that and you this gets into here so we're doing monthly so you're going to set that to 12 so 12 and enter if you're doing quarterly that would of course be four annually would be one so i'll let you specify that we also need to set the number of compounding periods um, per year so we go down those 12 compounding periods you can see interest being paid each month so just put in 12 and enter, I think it was already set to 12. So next thing, we need to quit this mode, we don't, we don't want to be in this. So move this up a bit. So we can just press on and that will take us out of that and back to normal. Right, so let's move ahead and enter the data. For example, for the present value, we've got that negative. So we need to have um, negative sign, so we can do that with the plus or minus button that's right on the bottom row, way down here. So plus or minus button, that gives us a negative sign. We want 5,000, use the apostrophes to help you. And then we're putting this 5,000 into the present value. So in this top row, you've got all the TMV, TVM, now time value money functions. So 5,000 goes into present value. Um, interest rate, we've decided is 5% a year. So to do 5 and then i slash y, you see this symbol means it's putting into that memory. Um, payments, we've got minus 50, so the button down there to get a negative 50, that goes into payment. And uh, number of compounding periods, we've got 60, that was the 5 times 12. And then that goes into n here. Now, last step, we can just calculate the future value, so we do this by pressing comp and then FV for future value, and we get 9,817 as our answer. So that's how you do basic time value of money type calculations on your Sharp um, 738 calculator. Hopefully this has been helpful, and thank you very much for watching.